casting staff or directors in general, how awkward is it to hire people for unattractive characters as in their whole role as being fat or ugly? You know, I was thinking about it and personally I'd be happier getting a role for being fat or ugly than losing a role for not being attractive enough. Yet, I keep thinking of that post that's circulated around the internet that says something like, apply for the role of ugly slash unattractive characters because if you get the role, you get to be in a movie, but if you don't get the role then you're not ugly enough. Obviously, that isn't necessarily the reason you wouldn't get the role but it feels like it fits here anyway. I work at a theater school. The acting students are typically striking looking in some way. Strikingly beautiful, strikingly gaunt, strikingly unsettling, strikingly kind. The fat students are usually a bit big but also very strong and agile. The ugly students are ugly in a unique and interesting way, not merely less attractive than their peers, but positively more ugly. They're both the same distance from plain, but in different directions. This is usually a selling point for them, and they know it. Someone who looks fat and lazy but has the stamina to perform all day is an absolute prize. Someone whose selling point is his train wreck of a face knows exactly what he looks like, and in conjunction with his performance skills, has a very sellable product. Remember that most roles have an audition process. You subscribe to, or ask your agent to keep an eye out for roles you are confident you can play. Most actors aren't after a Juliet, a Hamlet. They are after roles that fit their description and skill set. Short, plump ginger-haired woman with a maternal smile in her late forties is a role certain actors will find and send in a headshot for, just like Hispanic, unattractive, 50-plus LBS overweight man, lazy eye or missing teeth desirable will catch the eye of others. You apply for the roles. Professional actors are confident self-starters after a job that pays, that gets them seen, that lets them show off their range, so as to continue building their career. This is a great answer. My husband did a fair amount of acting as an older teen slash young adult and he is definitely in the striking category. He isn't conventionally handsome, but he has a look and a presence, think of a tall, slender, blonde Abraham Lincoln with a red beard. He ultimately realized he didn't have the true drive for acting and ended up going into computer work but I think he could have definitely succeeded if he had really wanted to. By the way, I find him incredibly attractive, and he has totally aged into his looks. Now he's a very striking-looking older man. One of my favorite compliments I ever received was when I first saw you I thought I don't know anyone who looks like her. Your face felt totally new. I spent a few years in LA going to auditions. Some of the roles I got cast in include overweight jogger, fat guy with beard and guy waiting in line for donuts, which was actually not a specifically fat guy audition more a hipster which was also a lot of the roles I went out for. It wasn't that awkward. And I got to know a lot of dudes who kind of look like me just from seeing them at the same auditions. Most awkward audition was for a Polish tire commercial where I had to be topless. I'm Polish but I'm not sure if I ever saw a tire commercial with a topless fat dude. Maybe it's because there is a lot of topless fat dudes on the TV slash internet slash IRL so it just didn't really stand out. This was also maybe five years ago. The fat topless guy was gonna get knocked over by a tire that came flying in if that helps. I've been a professional actor for over 20 years and I can say, not awkward at all. If you have an interesting look and you have signed up for and showed up for a casting, you know the deal. Ugly actors aren't less smart or self-aware than good-looking ones. For example, little people, or dwarves, they get into acting knowing that they will more likely be an elf in a Christmas special than end up like Peter Dinklage, but they want to act regardless. Bottom line? We are all too needy and self-obsessed to feel awkward, even the ugly ones. I love that if you are interesting looking. Hope for me yet. The industry hasn't been this into non-traditionally attractive people since the 80s, go and get it. Your time is now. Be yourself. That's what they really want. In the audition, bring a lot of yourself to the character. After that you can worry all about the character if you get the part, but auditioning wise, just be you. 
that's what they want to see. I was watching Cheers and was blown away by how many visibly balding men were on there. It's just not something you see a lot of on TV or film. I have a very small bald spot and they spray brown paint on it sometimes if it's in a shot. The example I always use is the teen stars of the 80s, Molly Ringwald, Anthony Michael Hall, Ally Sheedy, they would have all been out of work in the early 2000s when cheekbones and ABS were required to play the ugly best friend. The idea of having grown through puberty in a world where Molly Ringwald isn't in movies makes me sad. Truly, there are still darker timelines than our own. For context. Are you an ugly actor? Like where are you on the Chris Evans to Chris Mintz Plass scale? What's funny about this is, I've been on both sides. In my teens and twenties, I played roles with much more character and grit. I quit drinking at 26, lost a lot of weight in my face and started to get more roles where I was kissing girls or selling products. Right now, I'm in car commercials and small roles in movies and TV. I'm nowhere near a Chris Evans. I kind of look like most of the guys you see in car commercials. Average white dude with nice teeth. Not quite the same thing but I saw an advert where they were looking to film in a bedsit, so I got in contact and the location scout came around to see my place. The film was the low-budget drugs drama London to Brighton, https slash slash www.imdb.com slash title slash tt0490166 slash, and they wanted a bedsit for where the two lead characters lived, who were both heroin addicts and living in abject misery without a penny to their name. They didn't use my place in the end, but the location scout did say it was almost perfect, the only problem is that it's too small. Which made me feel really great about where I lived back then, I can tell you. <laughs>